Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6 brought to you by Sleep Number. I'm your host, Mike Wobshall, inside TCO Studios at Winter Park. Here are your questions. Let's get to work. Question number one comes from Bob. Does new offensive coordinator John D. Filippo already have a playbook, or is that something in progress and not finalized until preseason or week one? Well, the playbook, remember, is always in progress, but one of the first things D. Filippo is going to do is take a look at what the Vikings did well last season. D. Filippo has been around the block in the NFL, so he knows it's not always about his style, it's about what his players do well. So he's going to incorporate some of what the Vikings did well last season into his new plan. But yeah, he does have a playbook and he does have a plan. He's been an offensive coordinator before, so D. Filippo is going to hit the ground running in Minnesota. Our next question comes from Brian. Does Bradford get thrown back into the mix now at quarterback? Well, there is some quarterback ambiguity for the Vikings heading into the offseason. The good news, though, is there are lots of good options from which to choose, including three who played in games for the Vikings last season. Now, Bradford has been with Filippo in the past, so that's why some people will not rule Bradford out for the Vikings. Can't wait to see how this situation unfolds. Question number three comes from Armand. Will the Vikings be more aggressive in offensive play calling? You know, I think the Vikings were aggressive last season under Pat Shermer, but the addition of John D. Filippo as offensive coordinator raises an interesting point. The Eagles led the NFL in fourth down attempts last season. So maybe D. Filippo will bring some of that with him to the Vikings. I know fans would love to see that. Our next question comes from Jason. With Dalvin Cook back, it will be interesting to see if Jarek McKinnon is brought back. Do you think we keep him? or let him hit free agency. Well, I love the Vikings look at running back last season at the beginning of the year, that three-headed attack with Cook, Latavius Murray, and McKinnon. Look at the Eagles and the Patriots, the two teams in the Super Bowl. They both use three running backs. So it's a good look for the Vikings, and it would be awesome if the Vikings could find a way to retain Jarek McKinnon and put him in the backfield with Murray and Cook in 2018. Charles from Brazil has the next question. Three months ago, I would have said we needed to take a cornerback early in the draft or free agency, but not now. Huge improvement from Trey Waynes. No doubt about it, 26 had the best season of his career in 2017. Did a great job opposite Xavier Rhodes at outside cornerback. All that work with Mike Zimmer and Jerry Gray and George Edwards is paying off, and I bet you Trey Waynes has an even better season in 2018, turning out to be a very good draft pick for the Vikings. With that being said, you can never have too many good corners in this league, so don't be surprised if Zimmer gets greedy and takes another corner sometime this year. Our final question comes from Corey. We have seen all of the mock drafts. Who is a player you would like to see the Vikings draft? No, you haven't, Corey. Many more mock drafts to come. The draft isn't until the end of April. It's only the middle of February. Lots of mock drafts coming your way. I don't know enough about all the players yet to have a hard opinion on who the Vikings should take in the draft. We're going to get to learn those guys when we go to the Combine at the end of the month, which reminds me to remind you to check out our Combine content at the end of this month. We'll be in Indianapolis providing coverage from the first day to the last day of the Combine, so we are your stop for continuous Combine coverage. Make sure you check it out. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. We'll be back next week with another edition, so please continue to submit your questions to the email address at the bottom of the screen. In the meantime, stay tuned to Vikings.com for more coverage of your favorite team.